Hi guys, um, I went today and had a V-peel. Um, I actually had my V-peel with Dr. Khalil, who is the guy that founded the V-peel. So it was very cool. He made a joke about, uh, it's like getting your burgers from uh, Dave Thomas, you know, of Wendy's. Um, the V-peel, uh, it's something that I had a couple of years ago. Um, it's a vitamin... C, retinol, and phenol acid peel, I believe. Is it vitamin C or vitamin A? Yeah, vitamin C. Um, I had it a few years ago, and there's actually a s huge string of comments on my website, like 280 comments um, of people who have been posting about their own V-peel experiences. The very first two videos I ever did were of my V-peel. Um, they were pretty horrifying, and so I figured in the spirit of the V-peel and in the spirit of my very first ever videos, um, I would do another series of videos showing you the results of this V-peel. So, like I said, I just got back from having the V-peel done by Dr. Khalil. Um, you can see my skin is really red and kind of tight, um, so it's uh, it almost looks like I have a sunburn a little bit. And what the V-peel does is it completely basically sheds your skin so you get to the skin underneath and it gets rid of hyperpigmentation which is awesome for people like me that are acne prone and then you get these nice little like red you know dots from the zits where they're left behind um, but it also works for people of all skin types skin tones all ethnicities um, which is pretty rare when it comes to peels because most peels um, can only be used on lighter skin so that's definitely something that sets the v peel apart um, my skin looks okay now. I mean, I know I look a little sort of scary, but it's going to get a lot worse. Um, if I remember correctly, uh, the first night of the peel is kind of uncomfortable. Um, so if you're getting your first V-peel yourself, I would recommend that you take some Advil or aspirin that night and have some hydrocortisone cream on hand. Hydrocortisone on, on hand. Um, then uh, day two is okay. You're kind of flaking a little bit. Day three and day four is when it gets really scary and like your face is just falling off in sheets. Um, you'll probably not want to go out. Um, I don't really care. People know I'm a beauty person and that I'm a human guinea pig. So, uh, you know, I will be going out. I actually have some events I have to go to. Um, but uh, after about day five and day six, all of a sudden your skin starts looking really clear. And then when you see the true results are after about three weeks, six weeks, you know, when your skin does a few cycles and sheds um, the old layers of dead skin. So, very excited. You know, this is day one of my V-peel. Uh, I will take a couple of videos to keep you abreast of my progress. Um, and uh, if you are having the V-peel yourself, or if you've just had it and you're like, oh my god, my skin is falling off, um, I'll put a link up to uh, my previous post with all of the hundreds of comments from people that have already gone through it, so you can read through and, uh, you know, see that you're not alone. So, uh, thanks for watching. Talk to you guys soon.